movieweb.com. So now I want to know, how much of the animator's personality actually finds its way into the puppets? Um, you know, ideally you cast the animators to the, the personalities of the puppets that, that you've written or designed. But in the case of Coraline, in every scene in the entire movie, almost all the animators, and we had at our peak, we had 30 animators, sort of 20 top animators and then 10 more assistant uh, supporting ones. So so you try to at least establish a particular walk, um, specific gestures, but every animator does it different. I mean, I know every shot in Coraline, the whole film, and I know which animator did it, just by their variation. But when you cast it the way, you know, the ideal way, where it's like one animator or, or two, really focus on a particular character, like this kid, Wyden, or the other father, um, you know, there's something about them, how they move or how they animate that you're trying to, to link up. And in some cases, you know, we've got a real father and the other father. Well, how are they different? And and we didn't want them to be like utterly different besides the button eyes, but the real dad's more clunky, stiff, awkward. The other father's much much looser, more of a physical comic. And, and sometimes you'll have, you'll have some an animator in both versions, or in this case, we use different animators for each of the versions. But it's, 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 casting is everything, just like live action. Um, you know, the voice casting, incredible, uh, incredibly critical, and the animation casting as well. Now I want to know, did you guys go into Ashland and take some of the architecture and some of the landscaping to bring the Ashland we see on film to life? We did a little of that. I, I, um, I, I wanted to keep, you know, this, the original story set in England, I wanted to keep some of the characters British. So there was the famous uh, Shakespeare Festival up in Ashland, Oregon. So I just chose that I thought the weather kind of cold and, and rainy would be appropriate. And yeah, we we definitely were influenced by the real Ashland. You, you'll see there's a scene when they go to town and there's banners about a, a Shakespearean festival and then townspeople walking around in, in Shakespearean costume reciting their lines. It's sort of fun. Now, with the film almost complete, what's some of your favorite scenes that you're really excited for your fans to see? Oh, there's, there's a lot. Um, Eric Layton, who uh, I worked with back at Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, he went on to become a pretty well-known director. So he came back and animated the, uh, the Spink and Forcible, the ladies in their theatrical performance, that sort of risque burlesque. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. It's, it's you know, it's really funny and, and uh, risky. That's my favorite. So Travis Knight did almost all the shots. Um, there's a well that figures strongly up in an orchard and, and Travis did Coraline when she first meets that kid Wybie who scares the hell out of her because <laughs> he wears this mask and he has this little electric bike and he appears in a thunderstorm uh, I mean I could go on and on this uh, fellow Jeff Riley, an animator he did a, a spectacular sequence the other father plays piano there's a player piano that plays him playing the piano it's a lot of fun it has, it has a, uh, they might be Giants song with John Linnell singing. We haven't heard that yet, right? In the footage we've seen? I haven't, I haven't, you haven't seen that. Uh, Trey Thomas, I mean, uh, he, did, he did a lot of the uh, other mother. There's sort of three forms of the other mother. The first one that's kind of like real mom, but nicer, warmer, a little prettier. Um, they all have button eyes, of course. That's sort of the rules of this other handmade world. And then she and she morphs. She becomes more monstrous, like a, a tall, gaunt fashion model, as you saw in the footage. And there's a final form of her. So, um, well, Trey Thomas, Anthony Scott, uh, there's there's uh, the scenes of her, uh, oh, and Peyton Curtis, a Canadian animator, did a lot of her that are just spectacular. Um, we have finally nuanced, you know, this, uh, there's a lot of shots, they, they aren't show-off shots. They're just about performance and believing in the characters. Those are very challenging. Um, there's 
you know, Coraline, um, her, her father, her parents in the real world don't have time for her. So she, she's very childlike. Um, there's a wonderful scene where she's trying to get his attention. He's working at the computer. She's squeaking a door to annoy him, and that's a lovely, lovely scene. Um, so I'm, I'm so close to it at this point. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty pleased. There's definitely some great show-off spectacles that'll, you know, dazzling shots. But I'm just as happy with some of the smaller acting moments. And when Coraline goes to rescue her parents and thinks she's failed and starts to cry, that's, that's a hard thing to do with these little puppets. And it's, it's very moving, I think.